we have an Azure subscription that contains 50 virtual machines running Windows Server 2012 or 2016. We need to deploy Microsoft anti-malware to these virtual machines. We connect to each virtual machine and add a Windows feature. Does this meet the goal? Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. It is incorrect. Microsoft Antimalware is deployed as an extension and not a feature. We are collecting events from Azure Virtual Machines to an Azure Log Analytics workspace. We plan to create alerts based on the collected event. We need to identify which Azure services can be used to create the alerts. Which two services should we identify? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. A. Azure Monitor. B. Azure Security Center. C. Azure Analytics Services. D. Azure Sentinel. E. Azure Advisor. Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The two Azure services that can be used to create alerts based on collected VM events are Azure Monitor and Azure Sentinel. And YE. These services work together to ensure logs and alerts are captured from Azure resources. We utilize Azure Resource Manager templates to deploy Azure Virtual Machines. We need to disable unused Windows features automatically as instances of the virtual machines are provisioned. What should we use? A. Device Compliance Policies in Microsoft Intune B. Azure Automation State Configuration C. Application Security Groups D. Azure Advisor Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. You can use Azure Automation State Configuration to manage Azure Virtual Machines. Our Azure subscription includes a hundred virtual machines with Azure Diagnostics enabled. We have been tasked with analyzing the security events of a Windows Server 2016 virtual machine. We have already accessed Azure Monitor. Which of the following options should we use? A. Application Log B. Metrics This C. Activity Log Log D. Logs Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The appropriate tool for comprehensive security event analysis in this scenario is Logs. Logs provides a broad view of all relevant logs, including application, system, user activity, and network data, which are essential for understanding virtual machine security events across various metrics. We use Azure Security Center for the centralized policy management of three Azure subscriptions. We employ several policy definitions to manage the security of the subscriptions. We need to deploy the policy definitions as a group to all three subscriptions. We create an initiative and an assignment that is scoped to a management group. Does this solution meet the goal for us? Okay. Now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready.
creating an initiative and assigning policies scope to a management group in Azure ensures that each subscription set of managed policies is automatically grouped together, allowing the same policy definitions to apply across all managed subscriptions without needing additional policies for each subscription individually. We must evaluate the underlying segment to determine its accuracy. Our Azure Active Directory tenant has an Azure subscription linked to it. Our developer has created a mobile application that integrates with Azure Active Directory via Auth2 implicit grant type. The mobile app is required to register into Azure Active Directory and must obtain a valid redirect URI from the developer during registration. If the underlined segment is inaccurate, select the accurate option. A. No adjustment required. B. A secret. C. A login hint. D. A client ID. Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The accurate option is no adjustment required. If you are not adjusting your registration flow or configuration beyond providing the redirect URI, the statement implies that no further adjustments are needed, but in reality adjustments are necessary to complete the process properly. We have an active directory forest with a single domain. We also have an Azure Active Directory tenant with the same name. We have been tasked with integrating Active Directory and the Azure Active Directory tenant. We intend to deploy Azure Active Directory Connect. The strategy for the integration must ensure that password policies and user logon limitations affect user accounts that are sent to the Azure Active Directory tenant, while also minimizing the number of necessary servers. Solution. We recommend the use of federation with Active Directory Federation services. Does this solution meet the goal for us? Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. Incorrect. We have an Azure subscription, which is linked to an Azure Active Directory tenant. With the global administrator role assigned, we are responsible for managing Azure Security Center settings. What steps should we take to create a custom sensitivity label? A. Create a custom sensitive information type. B. Elevate access for global administrators in Azure Active Directory. C. Upgrade the pricing tier of the Security Center to standard. D. Enable integration with Microsoft Cloud App Security. Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The correct answer is A. Our network contains an Active Directory for us. We also have an Azure Active Directory tenant with the same name. We plan to set up synchronization using the Express Settings installation option in Azure Active Directory Connect. We need to determine which roles and groups are required to perform this configuration while adhering to the principle of least privilege. Which two roles and groups should we identify? A. The Domain Admins Group in Active Directory. B. The Security Administrator role in Azure Active Directory. C. The Global Administrator role in Azure Active Directory. D. The User Administrator role in Azure Active Directory. E. The Enterprise Admins group in Active Directory. Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. When configuring Azure Active Directory Connect with the Express Settings option, 
The process requires elevated privileges in both on-premises Active Directory and Azure Active Directory to ensure proper synchronization and configuration. We have recently been granted access to a new Azure account, which we are tasked with ensuring the specified user can successfully implement Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. Which of the following is the role we should assign to the user? A. The Compliance Administrator role. B. The Security Administrator role. C. The Password Administrator role. D. The Global Administrator role. Okay, now pause the video here have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. To start using privileged identity management in your directory, you must be a global administrator with an organizational account to enable it for a directory. Not forget to like and subscribe.